Welcome to our ranch, Agro Buffalo Brazil. We are located in the northeast of Brazil. My husband and I recently moved here to take the family ranch into the third generation raising water buffalo and begin our own journey breeding Arabian horses. So come spend a day with us to see what we do. Hope you enjoy. There's a lot going on right here in this one place right now. I'll show you guys over here. We are um, in our kind of like storage area um, and one of the houses here on the ranch. And this guy over here is putting some new fence posts in. Over here, same thing. And then over here, they are, we are building some electric lines. So these guys are over there on that far side. They're putting the um, post up on the truck to take it out to build the line over here they are putting gas in the tractor to start the day and then over here they are working on this part um, of the tractor and there's a who knows what she's doing <laughs> Fell by the wayside, like everyone else. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, but I was just kidding myself. Our every moment, I started a play. The car started, so we gotta run and get in the truck. And usually Ziggy and I, <laughs> look at Ziggy over there. Every time the truck starts, she's like, oh, we gotta go. And we both like jump up and try and run to go get in the truck because we might just get left behind. They're just waiting. So, before you go, was there something I could have said to make your heart beat better? If only I'd have known you had a storm to weather. So, So now we are here in the place where they are making the electric wire all the way down. And they're digging the hole for the cement post. On your face when you hurt under the surface like troubled water running cold well some can heal but this won't so Sometimes they don't even think I'm qualified for it because I don't want the dust pass. Now I'm going to have to use both hands because he's waiting for me to hurry to get it. So I got to get off. is my gate opener assistant. Painting. So there are all the things that are planned throughout the day and then there are the things that go unplanned. <laughs> this is not so bad. This is one of the really pretty views from the ranch. It's kind of up higher here, so super pretty, especially when we have the water buffalo out here. 
It looks so cool. There's actually a couple fires. One right there and one right there. It's dry season right now, so it is extremely dry. So we have a very high risk of fires. And we've already had a few um, so far in this season. So we just hope for the best and hope that they're not really bad. Hope that we can contain them. We gotta go check that fire now because um, it could be in our land, it might not be. So we're just picking up something here really quick and then we're gonna go around that way and we'll check and see if it's in our land. So let's hope not. All right, now we stopped back at the storage place that I took you guys out earlier to get some tractor parts for the tractor that broke down from the side of the road back there and picked up some of the team to help out with it. And here's Iggy over here. She's also one of the helpers. She's just, <laughs> she's just down there riding along. <laughs> my riding partner. He always takes at least one dog with him and today was Ziggy so she was a lucky one. They all want to go. They all run out to the track when it starts so they can go. So today she's the worker. Tudo certo. Não esquece de bater a cabeça dos parafusos. Não esquece de bater a cabeça dos... Tá? Tá bom. Daqui vai pra onde? Lá na sede. So this area there, these are one-year-old calves. Look at their size, they're so big. They get supplements here. This is their boob supplement in all the pastures. Their watering hole. They've put this up, this structure, because the calves like to get down inside of it and just take a little bath inside their watering hole. Right now they're a little bit nervous but um they're super curious actually like if i just sit here and don't move around they will just come up to me and come see me look at these and see how curious they are let's see if they will get interested in me i got down on the ground now it takes a little bit they have to warm up but look how they're already looking. They're interested to see what I am. If I don't move, they will just come right up to me. They'll smell me. They'll try and take my hat. <laughs> These water buffalo are... <laughs> One got spooked. <laughs> So then they all got spooked. But these water buffalo are super docile. I'm not scared at all to come right up here next to them and be here with them because they won't do anything to me. They're so docile. Now we are going through the pasture. He just had to check if we could make it or not. Can we make it? Alright, let's see. It's a big drop. Going through the pasture there is a new road that's getting built through here that fence right here was just built like this past few weeks right yep. and the road's gonna be here
I'm going under in this time I fear there's no one to save me This all and nothing really got away You're driving me crazy I need somebody to hear Somebody to know Somebody to have Somebody to hold It's easy to say are one of the smartest breeds to protect themselves from the heat and from the cold so one of the ways that they protect themselves from the heat is getting in the water so you guys see all of them laying over there in the water so they're laying in the water because it's 1:30 in the afternoon so the Sun is very hot so they're all coming to lay in the water 
and wait for the sun to cool down. Once the sun starts cooling down, then they go out and they raise until the, the evening and then they raise part of the evening as well and then they rest until the next morning. So due to the size of the ranch, we, um, actually my father-in-law has named each area so that way we can situate ourselves, the employees, the cowboys know what area they need to go or where um, the cattle need to go. So finally, I got my own um, area named after where I'm from. I'm from Kansas, so this whole area here is named Kansas. There are eight pastures inside um, this area of Kansas, and then we have a bunch of other areas like Uberaba, for example, that's the state where my husband is from here in Brazil. We have Venezuela, like all different states. Um, we have like California, states of the US, states of Brazil, and then also different countries. So some of the areas, there is uh, Texas, there is um, China, Cuba, what else? Pakistan. What are the other areas? That Thailand. Thailand. What else is there? Um, Uberaba. Um, and then we have some local areas such as Ilha da Onça. We have the, the other ones that I don't remember now. <laughs> I'm searching for someone who'll be true Who'll change my life of blue Into a dream of golden rainbows Where are you? It seems I've been searching, searching We made it to the end of the day and the tractor broke down again, so we're waiting for the mechanic to fix the part of it that broke, and we're just hanging out here in a little improvised hut that is here on the ranch, which is shade for the employees. Got a little bench here. <laughs> I'm sitting on a little um, wooden log, <laughs> so we're just waiting here. This is how we're finishing our day. Alright, so that ends our day here on the ranch. My husband is bringing the drone. Don't you see?